Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Kite. I was still a little bit sick. Um, it It's lasting a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, but instead of going ahead and canceling the live stream for tonight, I figured I might as well do a short little video. Uh, that way for all the things that, <clears throat> that has changed over the past couple of days, uh, we can go ahead and get knocked out of the way. Once I'm starting to feel a little bit better, uh, that's when we'll get back to the normal live streams. But until then, I'm kind of just bedridden. I've been playing video games uh, and just taking medicine until this fixes itself. Uh, so Bitcoin, uh, we had a pretty good run up all the way up to, I think, $18,000 on the Wix, if I'm not mistaken, or at least pretty close. Um, yeah, 18400 uh, That's pretty good. Now, we built a couple supports and resistances on the way up that we could fall back onto. Now, uh, when it comes to the daily averages, the all-time high is sitting in at $19,000, uh, $19,077. So if we can get past that on the daily, uh, it's looking pretty good. That's our last major resistance. Uh, so we're probably going to go up and retest that if we don't dip back below uh, one of these closer resist uh, supports or resistances here. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Bitcoin. I mean, we're sitting on the verge of literally a, a fantastic run up uh, that most people won't even understand why it goes so far. Um, more importantly, uh, we talked about this uh, last week. Litecoin has finally broken out of this daily capitulation and we have broken past our first major horizontal resistance of about $68. I have inserted my capital and I'm just holding on to this. I'm not leverage trading it or anything like that. Um, I'm, I have bought in and I will be holding on to it. Uh, next major resistance is going to be at about $82. Uh, if we can go ahead and get past that, we should be able to get all the way up to about 140. Uh, so from this current buy-in point, if you do choose to buy in around here, not financial advice, just, you know, say in my opinion, uh, that is already going to be a hundred percent play just from, uh, the break of this resistance to the next one. And then obviously after we break that resistance, uh, there is a couple of minor ones in here, one at 177, uh, one at about 242. But once we get past 142, uh, to 140, it's pretty much a straight ride up to 362, uh, the previous all time high. So, I mean, from, where we're currently sitting, uh, that is about 417%. About 4X your investment. Now, you guys know that I, you know, I can't really predict the future. I don't know exactly what Litecoin's going to go to if it does uh, continue. Um, I, my best guess would probably be somewhere around $2,000 or $3,000. It's just kind of my ballpark estimate. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. Uh, obviously, this is a fantastic play. It's simple, it's easy, nice entry. It's just a standard pattern. And if you miss this type of pattern, you don't have much chance on anything else. This is the easiest play uh, that we've seen so far besides, you know, the breaks of horizontals on double bottoms and stuff like that. All right, and that leads me into my next one. We're going to talk about ETH. We're just going to talk about the big three today. Um, I really don't have a whole lot of time or energy, uh, so we're not going to go do a whole bunch of different altcoins or anything like that. I'm sorry. All right, um, this is a weird chart. What the heck? I thought I had a different one. There we go. All right, so Ethereum, we talked about the double bottom here, uh, the horizontal resistance now used as support is sitting at $331. Uh, more importantly, we have a smaller inverse head and shoulders uh, on a two-hour time frame. You can see that here. Uh, boom, boom. Boom, and then it's trying to arm up. Uh, so uh, the resistance that we need to break is at 480. Now, we did have a, a little bit of a wick above that, a little bit of price action closing above it, uh, which is good to see, uh, but we have not yet gotten above it. Now, we are sitting in a little bit of a bear flag on the smaller time frames, so we might have it come back down and probably retest around 419 if it does want to continue to get rejected. Uh, but we have seen bullish patterns break out to the, uh, no, bearish patterns break out to the upside over and over and over again the past couple of days. 
Uh, so no doubt could we see this actually break up to the upside. Like I said, uh, we're looking for a break of about 480. If you guys do want to try to leverage trade that, that could be a potential good entry point along this resistance. Obviously not financial advice, but as long as we are above 480, the next major macro resistance is at about $800. So that is an easy play if you do want to just kind of buy in, set up a nice stop loss and hold on to it for a little bit. Because, uh, you know, that alone is 67%. You combine that with a little bit of leverage trading, maybe a 2x, 3x, 4x, you'll be sitting pretty in no time. Me personally, I have a long uh, from down here off of the horizontal of the double bottom uh, that I will be holding for God knows how long until I, I feel comfortable with this uh, potential bull, uh, bull market ending. Because uh, that's just a fantastic point, if anything. Um, as long as this, if this, then that statement holds, um, pretty much I we're set for the all-time high. It's as simple as that. It's a simple double bottom pattern. This is the arm. This is the double bottom. This is the horizontal. Give me one second. So as long as we hold above the horizontal resistance, now acting as support, we should be able to get to 1,369. Uh, so from where I currently entered, uh, that is about 300%. I have a 3x long setup along that, and I'll be holding that until I, I can't anymore. So that's it for today, guys. I appreciate your time. I understand it's a little bit of an unorthodox thing, and you probably hate listening to me because I sound like a, a dying dog. Uh, but I do appreciate your time today, and uh, I'll try to get better soon, so that way we can talk face-to-face, -face, all that good stuff. So thank you, guys. Love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.